hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then hello welcome so today is this look a full face of first impressions we have some highs and lows in this it's a it's a bit of a mess i can't lie it's not the worst in the world but it's not the best in the world and at one point i do think oh my god what is going on but yeah that is all to come and this is the look we created i mean for you guys the look probably looks nice it's just not it's just not the best you know it's just some bits that i just i'm not too keen of i'm not a fan of but that is all to come if you like the sound of this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe turn that notification bell on and yeah if you want to see what happened with this and what i think of it and all the products that i use then please keep on watching <laughs> Hi guys, I've got my pixie eye masks on because your girl is tired and I look tired so I need to just sit with these on for a little bit while I start my face. So we've got a full face of first impressions today. I'm excited. We've got some weird stuff. Obviously you would have seen most of this is from the haul that I've done. If you haven't seen that I will link it below just so you can get up to date right so starting with i've not done anything to my face yet because we have a brow product so this is the revolution soap styler oh so i said in my haul it gives me very much iconic london vibe it comes with like a little toothbrush and oh god i'm, I'm dropping everything today this is gonna be fun i'm a little bit worse for wear so hence the reason why it probably will be all over the place so all i would say i believe with these you just spray them. I mean, that has now ruined the whole mirror, but hey-ho. Just to get it wet, and then I'm going to use... I'm going to try to use this toothbrush. I mean, it's very small, so I don't know. Right, we're just going to coat the toothbrush. Here we go. I'm just going to... Oh, God, this feels so weird. Ow, it hurts. Okay, I'm not actually mad at it. Doing the job. I think I would be better. I'm going to push them down. So I was saying in that haul, my brows aren't the best to do in a sense that they're very long, they're very curly, they are hard to style and stick down. I'm actually going to go in with just my normal spoolie because I feel like I'm going to get more from this than that toothbrush. Oh, oh my god, that is a hundred times better. Like, so much better. That brush just, it's too small, you can't grip on it. But, oh my god, I'm dropping everything. But, the actual product look at the difference okay if it lasts i'm actually thoroughly impressed impressed <laughs> i i apologize already for this video i feel like i'm not with it but that is actually so like good but the brush in it isn't so i would just use a normal spoolie with it obviously we'll see if it lasts that's the thing with my brows they end up pinging back down okay so oh i might have wetted that too much but so much easier with a normal brush rather than that toothbrush i mean it's good that they put one in with it but i think it would be better if it was a smaller version of one of these because these proper get into all the hairs so that's a no that's just ridiculous can't even get my fingers around it but the actual soap styler i'm not mad at look at my brows wow okay let's hope it lasts right i'm just gonna quickly prep my eyelids we have nothing new for that we never have anything new for that it's always p louise base okay so my lids are all prepped i'm gonna be using the morphe palette today so i did have the revolution one to try as well but i was like you know what i need a morphe moment so this is the 350 supernatural glow palette it looks stunning look at that wow so very neutrals but i'm here for it feel like i want to maybe go with like so these are a lot of shimmers like rose goldy shimmers i feel like i'm gonna do that sort of vibe with a bit of a brown in to make it but oh i don't know i'm excited so like i've always said with morphe it's annoying because the shade names come out of it but i will try to <laughs> tell you what ones they are so i think i'm gonna go in with take control first 
which is this shade up here. So it's like a very light orangey pinky shade. I think it's going to be beautiful as the transition shade. So I'm just going to take this on a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to work this through my crease. It is more orange as it's coming out, but nice and pigmented. It's not too orange, which is nice. I think you can sort of have this as the transition shade and then blend this into like browns and stuff. So it's not too in your face. It's still very wearable. Building up nicely. Obviously, the more I'm building up, the more orange it is getting. So I think I'm just going to buff this out now i'm not going to add any more product because i don't want it to be too orange but all for shadows are a go-to they're affordable and there's so much choice like and different things you can do with this palette which is always a bonus and they're so good like that is literally blended lovely pigmented no patchiness just blended Mwah beautifully and then on my morphe m519 brush which is blending brush but quite like short and denser than a normal blending brush so it's good when you're focusing on the outer and then buffing it in so then i'm going to go in with mighty fine which is this darker shade right on the corner i feel like it will go it's got a bit of a ready tone to it but i feel like into this it will blend nicely that's cute and then i feel feel like i can go in with one of them shimmers as well so again same sort of process just focusing this on my outer eye and working it in i feel like morphe's even like this palette feels even better than some of my have a Morphe palette, so like I feel like the formula has even improved since then. I mean, I've always loved them, they've always been good, but this is just ease. I'm not hardly doing anything, they're just working so lovely together, blending really nicely, lots of pigment, all the things that you need in a good palette, and this is just ticking all the boxes so when i'm buffing out the red i'm not actually adding any additional of the orange i'm happy with that i feel like they've blended so nicely together oh this is giving me autumn vibes as well well even winter vibes we're obviously going into the winter months so all of these eye looks i literally love okay and then i'm gonna go in with gasp which is this shimmer at the bottom so this one looks more like the most like rose gold out of the three these are all shimmers here but knowing me i'm probably going to start with this and then just do a mixture so it's gasp sizzle and legacy and i'm just gonna like do the usual where i cut my stop it i'm gonna cut my crease not actually cutting the crease but just placing this where I would normally cut my crease. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just gonna place this down. It's a stunning color. Goes to this eye perfectly. The shimmers are good, don't get me wrong. I do like the shimmers. They are less intense than others that I have tried. If you like a full like pigment eye, then I think you would probably have to go in with a pigment as well. I mean, it's cute. I'm not gonna go in with a pigment, but I sort of do like this softer look when it comes to shimmers but obviously they're not the most intense ones you can get these are very fine which obviously is really nice but yeah it just sort of depends what pigment you want i'm also going to flip the brush and i am going to go in with sizzle which is the one above it just right here just to properly open up that eye and brighten it a little bit obviously i'm just working this like on my lid i love it look at that very nice they just work well together that was so simple now right, i'm gonna take these off now they've been on for 15 minutes so that should be enough time i feel alive nice so i've got a like sort of newish product as well it is the maybelline tattoo liner which i have tried their tattoo liner but this is their smoky version so essentially it is a brown liner which i'm gonna run this along okay that's no good it just broke where is that because i don't want to squish it onto my okay so that's no good because it just broke very creamy i just tried it on the back of my hand 
It's so creamy. Let's just hope it doesn't break anymore. So I'm just running this along my top lash line. And basically, I love the Tattoo Liner, which is what I've tried before. But this version is, it's called Tattoo Liner Smoky. Oh, this product is just a bit temperamental. And then it's basically got a little dofa on the other end, which I'm guessing use this to smoke it out. Cute. I mean, it does take away the payoff a little bit. So I feel like I want to go in with some more and go again. But cute. So the tattoo liner I loved already. It lasts long. It doesn't budge. It is very good. But this is a nice little touch to it having the smoky side. It does buff it out and make it a bit more smoky. Whether or not, like if you've got the normal tattoo liner, you probably don't need to go out and get the smoky. You can sort of do it yourself if you just buff it in with a brush. But it's cute and such a good liner. Okay. So I'm gonna finish off the bottom of my eyes and then do the other eye of camera and then we can go onto skin. So for the bottom of my eyes, with my Peaches brush, my favorite brush, the little bullet brush, you know what I'm talking about if you watch my videos. I'm gonna go in with Mighty Fine, which was that deeper shade. And I'm gonna run this along the bottom of my lash line, keeping it nice and close to my lash line. I don't want it coming down too low. If you do bring it down too low, you can always just clean it up with like your P. Louise base and your concealer, but literally just like that. And then in with Take Control, which is the first shade, just on a smaller buffing brush, I'm just gonna go along the edges, making sure to join it up to the top of your lid. Oh, nice and blended. Just like that. Very, very simple. And I'm gonna actually, again, go in with the tattoo liner. And I'm gonna put this in my waterline as well. I'm not gonna smoke it out, just cause I don't think you need to. But just to tie it all together. Just add in the liner everywhere. It's also very good on the waterline cause it actually doesn't move, which is perfect. So that is the look for the eyes all complete. I love it. I mean, it's very soft and simple looks, but I feel like if you're using a Morphe palette, that is what you are looking for. They are just simple, soft glam looks. Like I said, they are amazing palettes. I do think that this formula is better than any of the other formulas. Obviously, it is newer, so they're probably always improving their formulas, and I can notice a difference. I just think it's, it's so much easier to blend. There's no patchiness pigmentation easy easy shadows and obviously i love how many looks you can get out of this and that they're so affordable so i really always do recommend morphe you can't go wrong so that is another palette it's definitely going to be coming with me everywhere because it has got all your neutrals in that you need uh how are my brows doing the brows feel like they are stuck i'm actually shocked because naf I, I didn't think it was going to be good. I thought it was going to be like a NAF product. I thought it, it's just going to be one of them ones. But I'm impressed so far. So I'm going to quickly go off camera, do the other eye. Then we're back to do my skin. Okay, so the other eye I've done and I've put some lashes on. Now let's go on to our skin. So I've just moisturised with my Walida, of course. That is like always the step that I do first. Right, and then we've got a primer, which I'm actually, I think this is the first primer that I'm actually really excited to try. It's the All Night Heart Face Primer. I love the All Night Setting Spray. I don't use it as much anymore, but when you do use that stuff, your face does not budge. So I feel like the All Night Face Primer, it's got to be good. Like, if it's not good, then I've been lied to because it's the exact, like, it's called All Night Heart Face Primer. So it's the same as the setting spray. So, fingers crossed, I actually feel like this makes my makeup look good. It says it's a long wear foundation grip, preps, smooths, and perfects. So, let's give it a go. So, it's like a white primer, and I'm literally just gonna. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna put this all over my face. It feels really nice, actually. Feels like a moisturiser, like that sort of vibe. It's tacky, but not too tacky, do you know what I mean? It's quite cooling on the skin. I don't know, that felt really nice actually put, to put on. Obviously we can't see right now, but we shall see. I am gonna try and keep this makeup on for a little while, so I will obviously 
keep that in mind and update you over on like insta or in the comments how i feel about it okay and then for my foundation today i'm going with the revolution conceal and glow so like i said in the haul this is obviously the same sort of thing as their first foundation which was the conceal and define this is obviously a glowy up version so we shall see oh what it is like so i picked up f7 so i think it should be actually a perfect match mm, yeah i mean it's quite light i think if i was more fake tanned it probably wouldn't match me but i'm just gonna press this into the skin but like when i'm not fake tanned it's literally perfect it smells disgusting oh my god I actually could start smelling it so that's why I took a whiff because I could smell something it doesn't smell good it's like one of them ones where you can't actually breathe it in not to be dramatic but yeah not a fan of the smell it's very runny but I find sheer glowy foundations they are normally more on the runnier side I mean the coverage is good even though it's a glow foundation there is still a lot of coverage which I need at the moment. My skin hasn't actually been the best lately. So I'm just working this down my neck. I can see the glow. I feel quite shiny. Obviously we need to set and stuff. But I do definitely see it being a more of a glowy foundation. Because like in places that you wouldn't necessarily normally a glow are glowing. Yeah, it looks nice. It's just the smell. It smells like a bit nail varnish remover it's quite strong scented and obviously when they are strong scented it does make me worry a little bit that it's like not gonna be the best for my skin but right now it looks nice glowy definitely like you can see in the camera like here like i'm glowing which if you like a glow foundation then this could be for you and it also looks nice on top of that primer I do look very smooth. Right, for concealer, I did pick up two. So I've got the True Match or the I Heart Revolution. I think for today and with this glowy foundation, I am going to go in with the True Match. I know I'm late to the game with this. It has been out quite some time. I just never have got round to trying it. I love the True Match foundation. It is one of my go-to drugstore foundations ow it's a little bit more lightweight the true match foundation so i feel like this concealer is going to be more lightweight i feel like it's going to be a nars creamy concealer moment i got the shade 4n beige okay it's like literally the exact same shade as this foundation so no brightening effect but it feels very creamy i like the dofa very easy to apply what i might do is i'll buff this out and if anything i'll use the other concealer that i picked up to brighten because yeah this hasn't got a brightening effect one bit it is very similar to the nars creamy concealer i can tell that already which i do love the nars creamy concealer so i'm not complaining mm. i felt like it was gonna pick up the product that's underneath feel like I've got to be really careful with this when I'm blending it out. I don't know if it's working well with the stuff that's underneath. Because it is picking it up a little bit. But just make sure to pat it on. Just so we're not disturbing any of that product. But it's nice. It's more lightweight. It's not the most full coverage concealer I've ever tried obviously i do like a full coverage concealer but for like an everyday concealer i feel like this will be really nice or obviously if you're working on someone that likes it more lightweight and not too heavy this would be really nice it's again it's quite radiant the concealer so i do feel very glowy right now <laughs> mm, yeah I mean, maybe on a day where I'm not hungover because my bags are quite bad, it might actually be a lot better. But right now, it's not as much coverage as I would like. But that's not to say it's a bad concealer. I just like a little bit more coverage, especially with like a look like this. Obviously, like I said, every day, this is probably lovely. I feel like next time I'll try the True Match and that together and see, I bet it's a really nice lightweight finish i am gonna go in with this concealer as well though when i can open it sometimes i do think like super drug think that they're gonna get robbed i mean they probably do people do 
I'll probably try to take the makeup, but it's really hard to ever get into anything. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to just to brighten up a little bit and add a little bit more coverage. I am going to go in with the iHeart Revolution Heartbreakers Concealer. It says it's got coconut extract and vitamin C, E, A, B3 and B5 in. Ah, oh, cute. The actual dofa is a love heart. That is really cute. Oh, what it's so light. I spoke about the shade range in my haul about this. It wasn't the best shade range. Okay, I've actually decided I don't like the dofa. Then I feel like I can't pick any up and I'm also a bit worried to be layering this on top because this one is very light. Straight away I can tell as well this coverage is a lot thicker. I've got in with a bit too much on this bit. So just distribute, distribute it a little bit. But it has ha added some brightness to the skin which is good and some coverage. So I feel like for that purpose, nice. Don't know how I feel about it if I had to use all of this concealer on its own. I will try it, but it is just very light for me. I don't actually have anything for cream contour. Let me actually try this out first, and then I will do my cream contour off camera. So this is the Revolution Glow Stick in Champagne. I mean, I am glowy enough as it is. I'm just going to tap this on here now because i feel like i can't put this once i have powdered okay this is enough product i don't think this has even done anything it looks cute on the nose do you know what i feel like this is trying to be this is trying to be like refires glossy highlighter which is unreal i mean it's giving me a little bit of a shine but if you look at the top of that it just looks like it's actually taken off my makeup rather than added anything i mean i am glowy but i also have used a glowy foundation so is this done much am i going well with it not really on my nose it looks cute but i feel like i'm very glowy already so did i really need that not really right okay i'm gonna go off camera do a bit of cream contour and then i'll be back because i need some color to this face i feel very pale right now Okay, that's better. I added a little bit of my Refire Cream Bronzer just to add some colour to the skin because I did feel a bit pale. I am very glowy. Still not stopping because I've now got the Morphe Cream Blush to add and then I'm going to set it and hopefully I won't be <laughs> as glowy anymore because I am feeling the glow. But yeah, this is the Morphe Cream Blush in verified i believe the shade is called yep and i think these cream blushes are new it's like a peachy blush again it seems quite pale didn't look as pale on the website when i purchased it but i'm gonna buff it out and have a little look it has added color to the cheeks it's just very very pale and like it's cute. The actual formula and like the cream blush is nice. I just think maybe a different shade would be better for me because I like to be quite tanned. I feel like this is very, very light, but I do love a peachy blush. It has added something to the skin, but just maybe not as intense as I would like. But I think that's just because it's really pale. Maybe for like my lighter skin toned people, that would look lovely on them. I like it. I can see it. I can see it. It's not to say that nothing happened. But I just think I need, I love blush, you know me, I love blush. So I think I just needed a little bit more than that. Right, let it, let's set this all in place because I feel very, very glowy. This is where it all could go wrong though. This is the problem when you set. So for today, I'm using the Barry M Ready Set Smooth Powder, the loose powder. Cute, comes with a little, don't think I'll use it though. I don't really ever use these, but oh my God, it's so soft. It's always a cute concept, but I don't actually know anyone that really uses these anymore. It's very old-fashioned. Comes with a little mirror. Really cute. So this is just translucent. Very, very white. Scary white. Ah, I hate trying new powders because I just think, like, all this work, it just could be ruined right now. But we're going to do it. So I'm applying it like I always do. Picking some up on my beauty blender. I'm just going to pat out my under eye just to make sure it's all smooth. And then I'm going to bake under my eyes. Wow. Look how bright this is. Okay. 
<laughs> and then I'm sitting on my chin. I don't bake anywhere else apart from my under eye, but I'll just push it in to the skin. So far, so good. It looks very smooth in. Could we have a drugstore winner? Don't know. I'm just scared of how white this is. This is the only thing. Don't want to be getting no flashback moments. What I do is I like push in and then leave a little bit of a cast in and then I push it in on my forehead as well. Very nice. On my forehead and chin, so far so good. Very smooth in. Exciting stuff. I love finding a drugstore powder that is good. For our bronzers, we have the Benefit Hula Contourist Palette. I've been dying to try Hula Caramel for the longest time and today is that day. I'm going to go in for an angled brush because I'm going to use this to contour and then sort of an all over bronze as well. But I'm going in with Hula Caramel, tapping it off because I just am scared with how dark it's gonna be it's got a nice little mirror in here so this is my kind of shade so much better than the original hula for me i mean it's very pigmented you do not need a lot i literally went in with that one tap and then i'm literally blending it using it on my jawline as well like sometimes i would go in again for the jawline but i feel like you don't need to it's stunning it's giving me give me sun vibes it's like a more warm toned see where i've put that glow stick my makeup is looking disgusting just in them places like literally just there even the top here i can sort of see that it's not looking good so that glow stick is a no from me but hula caramel is a yes from me very nice but you do not need a lot it's super pigmented and i'm just patting it on i'm not brushing I feel very sceptical about this makeup today, but I don't want to disturb any of the other products because I'm a bit like meh with a lot of them. They could crumble at any point. That's how I feel. But the glow stick is already going in the bin. That is not fun. Unless you're doing like a no makeup makeup look and you want to add that to your skin as like your highlighter and you're not going in with a lot of powders, then okay, maybe it might look nice, but for like a liquid highlighter and then you're putting powders on top it does not it does not work i love that hula caramel really really like it just quickly gonna bake underneath just to tidy that up so my brows this is the point where i would do my brows they are still in place like i'm actually shocked like i am loving my like look at the, look at them and i've got this thing to try and i just don't think i'm gonna try it i know this is bad it's meant to be a first impression but it's the revolution pro ultimate brow and i just i don't think i can try this right now and ruin these brows i don't want to do it to myself i don't want to ruin this makeup because it's a dofa it's not even a spoolie like what do i even do oh no uh oh uh oh see it's not i, I don't i don't understand the product okay we're just gonna comb through it it is obviously making them darker but one i don't need a brow gel my brows are in place anyway i just don't get the product i don't get why you would need this it looks like you know like when you're dyeing your brows and then you like strip it off that's what it looks like i mean the color's good the color of this is good i have just like put a little bit in and then use the spoolie to blend it through but that's why i don't get why is this not a spoolie because who is actually coating their whole brows like this i don't know i'm not using it i'm sorry but i don't want to mess up my brows so for brows i'll do them at the end because i'm just going to quickly go in with my refire and sort them out but let's try blush so for blush i've got the ex1 blusher in the shade jet set glow in my haul this looks so pal i said it over on that video and it does not look like what i thought i picked up from the shade like online i just can't see it. it's a bit it's very similar to the cream blush to be fair they probably work well together but i am not getting like a blushy vibe from it i'm getting like a it's like a bronzery shade. I don't know. I don't feel like it's adding anything. I don't feel like 
anything's happening. But it says it's a bestseller and I love their foundation. So I feel like it's not the blusher's fault. I feel like the blusher will be fine. I can sort of see something happening, but not really. Like, I think it depends if you're a blush girl or not. If you're not that big of like a fan of blush and you're quite pale, beautiful, will look really nice. I, on the other hand, love blush so much. I like to be very rosy and I also like to be very bronze. So I feel like together, I mean, it is adding something. And it says Jet Set Glow. It is adding a glow to my skin. I just don't know. I just feel like I, I like to have really rosy, either pink or peachy blush on my cheeks. This is just not doing it for me the formula like when i swatched it like let me swatch it again for you the actual formula of this is so creamy and so soft like when i do that wow but like that's all i'm getting for it i mean ignore my patchy fake tan but um yeah i'm not really getting enough color payoff for me but maybe i'll try like a different shade in it because I feel like the formula is really lovely. Right, let's get this powder off before I have a meltdown and see what the situation is. Okay. Well, we're definitely baked, that's for sure, because it's like not, not leaving. <gasps> I feel like that is the thing when powders are white. It's really hard to then get rid of the whiteness underneath. And I don't want to obviously tap too hard. Very smooth. Very, very smooth under eye, but can you see, I, like, I need to blend this. Oh my God. I feel like you can still see the powder there. So I'm just gonna go over, not any additional product, but on that bronzer brush, just to blend it in a bit. But very smoothing, actually. It does look very nice in that sense, but just be careful. Like, obviously, I always bake that much, but if you don't like a bright under eye, then maybe don't. Maybe just press it in and leave it as that. So I'm actually going to take my Ava brush, which I love for, obviously, my nose contour. With this hula, I'm going to go in with normal hula for my nose contour. Oh, God, this, this mirror shows everything. So, this is the one I will be using when I am reevaluating this look. Because already I've got some problems. I'm not liking the makeup one bit, to be honest. My God. This is really just showing everything for what it really looks like. I'll save it. We're nearly there. But I'm going to spray my face. I feel like spraying the face does sometimes bring it all together. So, with my Morphe setting mist. Just so it melts a little bit. So I feel like it's looking not its best right now. Breathe, Sydney. Give it a moment. Right. Oh, my God. This is an epic foul, I think. I know what I definitely, definitely hate. I think the brows are actually going to be the thing I like the most. What the hell? That really just took a 360 was not expecting that let's just add more to this skin and fuck it up even more maybe because uh, it's not looking too good i can't lie so this is the revolution pro goddess glow shimmer brick god this is nice i like this very shimmery though very glittery but I'm not mad at it like it actually has chunks of glitter in so obviously that's not a bit of you, then you won't like this. But to be fair, this mirror is looking different than this mirror. So they're all looking weird, but I will try to reevaluate it all at the end. We're nearly done. I just got to add some lips to this situation. Just gonna quickly line my lips. I don't have a new lip liner to try, but I do have a lipstick and gloss to try. So I'm going with Maxor. Then I'm going to go in with this Revolution lipstick in Chauffeur. Very nice. Nice and creamy. I like that. I liked it when I swatched it. I knew straight away I'd like that. Really cute. And then this is just a L'Oreal lipstick. It's the same as the one I use in like the cleary colour. But this is in I High End. So it's a little bit ill. <laughs> So it's a little bit more pinky. Has a slight tingle to it, but it's like a good amount of tingle. I love that. I love them glosses. These are amazing. Like, I literally love them. They're not too sticky. They've got a lovely formula. They're not too tingly either. Like I hate it when you have a really bad tingle. 
Oh my god. No. You know when you cringe. <gasps> what was that? I was like ripping off the, the thing, but this was like, you know, that one is like metal. Oh my God, that really made me cringe. As she said, then goes back for more. Oh my God, no, what the fuck? That is not like a normal, oh my God, that ain't normal. This is like metally and that just made me cringe bad. I did have a mascara to try out. Um, I'm gonna just try it out with my bottom lashes. This is the Barry M Extra Volume Black Mascara Showgirl. Whoa, it's a really thick wand. Maybe not the best for bottom lashes, but we move. Wow, it's made them really long though. But just be light-handed because the dough is so big, you'd probably get the uh, your skin. Right, we're nearly there. I don't think I've got it. Right, I'm just gonna quickly do my camera, my camera. <laughs> do my brows just to fill in the front because at the moment I look like I don't have a front of the brow and just the end of the brow. I'm gonna fill them in and then I'll be back with my folds after I have concluded everything in my head because right now I'm very confused. Okay, brows are done. Right. So, really weird, and this is what I mean by you need this in your life. Honestly, compared to when I was looking at myself in this mirror, before I sprayed my face, I was like, oh my god, I hate it. I absolutely think it's horrible. This whole makeup look, like everything about it, disgusting. Sprayed that, I'm now looking again, and that has just... So basically, before I sprayed that, and what I say, why I have to spray my face using that spray, before that, my face looked very cakey, very powdery, just too much, all too much. You spray that, and honest to God, it melts your makeup, brings it all together. Genuinely, it does. That's still not to say that there are some products in here that I do not like. Okay, I'm being a bit patchy here. And I don't know whether that was the powder. When I baked here and wiped it off, it basically wiped off the makeup underneath. So I don't know whether it's the powder or I don't know if I'm a fan of the foundation. I look very glowy, don't get me wrong, and I do like it. But I think it's the shimmer brick that's making me look glowy. And I'm here for it. I do really like this. I'm a little bit patchy here as well, so I don't know if it's the powder. I will try it again with a trusty foundation. I will try it with like my NARS to see if it is the same case. And then obviously I know it's the powder. I do like the concealers. I do like my makeup, don't get me wrong. This primer, obviously I'm gonna see how long this makeup lasts and if it doesn't budge, but I would say it's not pore filling. I need another primer to fill in these pores because I do feel very much that you can see my pores right now. That part of it doesn't seem smoothing. Things that I'm like questioning are the foundation and the powder. I think they're not the best. And I do find that I have a few spots at the moment and obviously I did put that shimmer brick on my chin which probably was a bad idea because it is bringing out my spots a little bit. But I don't know whether also the foundation, where it is a glowy foundation, is bringing up my skin a little bit more. I love the colour of the Hoola Bronzer. I love that. The blush in that, uh, even the cream blush. The shades. I wouldn't say the formula, the shades are not good. Love the eyes. The brows. Can I just say, still touch it. They're, they're not budging. Like, they're genuinely not budging. That is... Don't judge a book by its cover because that was the product that I was literally thinking that's gonna be rubbish. That's just that they're just trying to sell me it like as a soap styler, like it's not gonna hold my brows. My brows like but aren't budging. My lips, eyes, brows, I love. I love the glowiness to my skin. I am very glowy, but I don't know whether that's just the highlighter. I think I would be this glowy with just the highlighter. When you do the first impressions, it's hard because you are trying all new things. So you, then you're like questioning, well, what what is it? What's not that I'm liking? Do you know what I mean? So things I'm questioning, powder, foundation, primer, I'd say. I'm gonna see how it lasts. It could turn it around. The primer could be top notch. But yeah, the foundation and the powder is what I'm questioning. So now, which I will update you with over on my Instagram and in the comments below, I will now try the powder with a trusty foundation and I will try foundation with every every product that I love so then I can sort of see, you know what I mean? I'm just patchy here and here 
which is where I put the powder. So I do feel like that is that is the thing that's going. But then I look smooth, which is annoying. Because I do have a smooth under eye. I do look smooth and like nice and airbrushed. But we don't want patchiness, which is going on here. But yeah, those are my final thoughts. This is the makeup. I mean, you can get away with it. Do you know what I mean? But you don't want to be patchy when you've not even stepped out of the house. But everything else, I really liked. It, was, it wasn't it was the most successful one, that's for sure. But yeah, that is everything that I have tried and tested. I will keep you updated. If you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up. And I will definitely be doing more of them. More makeup videos are coming. Follow me on Instagram for any other updates. Like they're like my daily updates. I do all say that. And yeah, before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Turn that notification bell on. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.